Hello guys, today we are here in Kestrup, the driving test route from Kestrup. Um, one of our students, previous student, has requested this video. He's a true legend. He's been through um, quite difficult roads that we would like to show you today on, on this route in Kestrup. We hope this video can help you to become a better driver and of course also to be able to help you to pass your driving test, the practical exam. And a uh, big thanks to our viewers in, in Yulen, Jutland, that are commenting on our videos here in Kastrup or Copenhagen area. Now remember, even though this route is not in, filmed in Jutland, each maneuver that you'll be doing, performing for your test, it will still be with the same kind of route. So a right turn, we will show you how to position, driving in roundabouts, we will give you some tips. Uh, approaching intersections, we will give you some tips, so it will still be the same kind of rule that will apply to your test, even though it doesn't, we are not filming in Yulen. Let's go inside and get started. All right, after you have answered the examiners a few questions then the examiner will tell you to start driving now remember the first thing you should do is put your seat belt always the seat belt first and then you shall start your engine today we are showing you the pedals also and we will try to show you the gear stick here here all right guys let's get started and um, before you start and start checking, put the car in correct gear. Here we are choosing the reverse. When you are reversing, you don't need to necessarily give the signal, the indicator, but if you do, it's, it's fine also. But verifications, mirror, shoulder, both sides, it looks clear. Let's get started. Okay, gear one. Check, mirror, shoulder. In this parking area, in any parking area, there will be a right hand duty that will apply. We will turn to the right, check behind. And then we are turning to the right. Look first before you start the turn signal. So always the triple check. One more time before positioning. Really poor visibility on your left side. Move yourself forward, not really the car, but yourself, so that you can get a better view because you have the uh, unconditional duty to give way. This road here is a bit uneven, like a bit jerky. Still drive close to the speed limit, which is 50. You can drive a little less, but don't drive unnecessarily too slow. We will turn right up here. There's an un unconditional duty to give way. Look first, then turn the signal on. One more verification behind to the right before positioning, and then you shall check for traffic on your both sides, right and left side. So we recommend you position your car first before you start checking the crossing traffic. All right, a lot of parked cars very close here, so it's okay to slightly go over the lane marking here. Okay, so rather close to the marking than the parked cars. The parked cars will damage the lines. It's just paint and it's allowed to cross if there's an obstacle. Check and then we are going to the left. Position your car in all left turns here in the middle, check behind, and then proceed. Take it easy on each turn, maneuver right or left, take your time to position. The bus is signaling, give way to the bus. In this car we use um, up to gear three for 50 kilometers an hour. 
but you can ask you can always ask your driving teacher your instructor which gear they prefer and which speed in this car we use the gear 3 now we're slowing down to so approximately 20 so let's shift down to gear 2 passing green traffic lights you can proceed no need to slow down but do check for traffic bus is going to stop and the lines are broken in the middle so we will try to pass this bus before we pass make sure there's no oncoming traffic and that there is free from behind so let's go for it but if the lines were not broken then remember you are not allowed to pass the bus only when there is some obstacle not moving ahead as you can see my foot or my feet here is like a V form there is a 30 sign here so we will slow down to approximately 30 but is this recommended so if you're going a little over or a little less it's fine yes but it's recommended to um, to make kind of like a V form on your feet it's easier to reach out your pedals and because these pedals are so uh, sensitive in normally every car so try not to press too hard uh, except from the clutch pedal because that one needs to go all the way down but the um, the accelerator and the brake pedal don't need that 30 is ending you can see that on your left side here it's a bit tricky um, it was a zone so they don't show you the signs when you're entering some speed restriction uh, zone all right traffic light let's turn to the right check mirror shoulder signal go out and position okay do not slow down here it's too early here we will slow down here okay prepare the car in gear one check and let's go so each turn right or left uh, go and position first and then check behind for traffic okay light is changing to green let's not try to make a full stop and proceed motorcycles ahead are pretty fast as you can see and hear it probably also so uh, there's a big difference if you are behind a motorcycle or a big vehicle like a bus or a truck and if there are several lanes then don't stay behind them if they are waiting for the traffic light to change on this route they tell you to turn left here okay again position first before planning to go anywhere the cyclist if you're not sure if it's too far or, or too close uh, then just stop all right it was a nice cyclist which is giving hand signals to uh, to show others that she will be turning so that was really nice passing parked cars also do verifications at this point now uh, no need to do more verifications if unless you're going to uh, move your car to the right or left For some reason I don't know if there is some oncoming big vehicle coming up but at this point we will stay here like kind of like in the middle of the road there's still room for oncoming traffic I'm driving slightly less than the speed limit due to uh, the, the narrow road and then it's a bit uneven let's turn left on this uh, um, intersection coming up okay so we check first behind to the right and then now behind to the left to give signal and then we position all the way left on these intersections uh, move up all the way to the pedestrian uh, the pavement okay um, it's okay to block for the pedestrians if there are none of course but never block for cyclists the bike lane also if there was no bike lane still don't because they can potentially come potential cyclists here the tricky part on your test is the sign we can't see the oncoming traffic right now so now they're visible and then again if you're not sure if they're far or not just, just stop right I mean just slow down 
the, since you have a duty to give away with the sign, check before moving. Left under traffic light coming up. This verification triple check. Um, you should really, as our friend who requested this video, Mr. J, the true legend, is saying that it's not a joke that we are mentioning to you with the head and shoulder. Um, not knees and toes, though. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. N knees and toes, they will take care of themselves. But head and shoulder, it's not a joke. Okay, so uh, mark it, mark it, mark it. Show it. It's a bit, it's a bit of a drama. Just, just do it. One, two, three, and go. This is what your examiner is looking for. Okay, so can you position the car on the lane? Can you do your verifications each time you are changing direction with the car or turning? And then you have your driver's license. The last thing, uh, the, the speed. Don't, don't forget the speed is also important. That you don't drive unnecessarily too slow. This is called second traffic light to the left. And why is it called second? Is because there is a traffic light right here. There's a stop light. And then there's another one. So don't get confused. It, it looks like one traffic light, but actually it is, it is two. Again, go in position, don't slow down yet, okay? Here we will start slowing down, and is, this is the best thing that can happen to your exam on turning left is that the light the, is green and the visibility is poor. But we have to go now because the light is changing. Mirror, mirror, shoulder, check, and go. Bus is pulling in, you may proceed. Never look at other vehicles, for too long at least. If you're looking too long at the bus, then you will go behind the bus unnecessarily, not on purpose. All right, guys, here they tell you to turn right. It's really, really tricky that our friend Mr. J went to, to his test. It's a lot of difficult roads on, on this test route the examiner uh, really wanted to slaughter and double check and triple check that the student is, is driving according to the rules. Some of them test less. So as you can see, super narrow here. We are turning left. Side road has the duty to give way and the oncoming car uh, was too far in this situation. Look at this. So on your test day when you are a bit nervous, so your um, your mind will be thinking many things. So you might miss the the, the two signs. Okay. Do not ask the examiner um, where should I go. All right. Because as you can see on your right, you have one option. So let's go to the right. Give signal. Check first, of course. Give signal. Here you will get told to turn to the right. Really poor visibility on on your left side. Yeah, so when you, have a, when you have traffic signs saying that you're not allowed to proceed straight, uh, then don't ask the examiner um, which direction you should go. Because there will be only one option left and you may proceed to that. Okay, we are turning left at the next coming road and look at the side road. They have um, elevation, like the surface changing. So which means uh, they have duty to give way. Uh, you don't need to... Um, give way but but still check and make sure that the uh, that the traffic is holding back as you can see again super narrow roads here people working some are jogging so there's a lot of activity happening roundabout third exit let's go no signal if you wish you can give a left signal but it's not a it's not a requirement it's a, it's a good help to do once you have passed already and you have a more routine, but in the test it might freak you out to do too many things at once. All right. Now the next intersection uh, is crossroad coming up. Uh, it's a bit tricky. It looks like there's a shark teeth, but it's not. It's only a speed bump. 
there is no Shakti, which means there is a right hand duty, which means slow down to 5 to 10 and then do the mafia look, okay? So you can, you can go over the examiner's uh, lab uh, or whatever to, so that they don't tell you um, that you did not check. Okay, that's a, I, I stopped now the car, that's not necessary, it was just to give you an example. But you can always watch our other videos where we are showing you like with speed, do the mafia look properly. Um, but that, that is normally 5 to 10. Let's turn to the right. Okay, narrow road, so we will wait for the car on the right also. Before going, check behind, mirror shoulder, no cyclist, no crossing traffic, let's go. Now, who goes first in this uh, situation is whoever just came first. Um, let's just help, and be, before we are helping, we should check first. Now, before mo pulling out, check. No need to give the signal, because you're not really doing a um, parking, like stopping or parking. It is giving way for some oncoming traffic. In, in that case, we don't need to give the, the turn signal. We are turning left over here. This one is really tricky, guys. Normally, when you turn left, you may proceed if all is clear. But in this one, you suddenly you have another stop line, which means another traffic light. Then you must uh, stop according to the light. But it can be tricky because the green arrow can be misleading also if you're not focusing enough. So make sure to stop. It's, um, it's a typical place that the students are um, not seeing this light and then failing their, their test just because of this. So um, that's sad. And once again, people from Yulan and other areas, um, it will still be the same rule. All right. We can't really go all the way to Jutland to make these uh, videos it's too far unfortunately for us we don't have any crew over, over there we are only located in Copenhagen at the moment do you have any um, any ideas, any tips, which kind of videos you'd like us to, to make here in Copenhagen, feel free to type it in the comment and we'll try to accommodate. 60 on this road, the speed limit 60, quite a lot. Um, also a bit scary if the light suddenly changed, so yeah. But um, what to do is best to at least don't go too slow in a fear that the light will change because then it will change and then you will have the trouble because then you wouldn't know if you should have stopped or or passed so just always speed up and proceed with the same speed to green traffic lights um, and be ready to in your mind be ready to stop because the light could have changed um, and then you're ready to break turning left check 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 position don't look at oncoming traffic it doesn't matter look, look over there like where you should position and then you can start looking at oncoming traffic no oncoming traffic so let's go so advice is uh, when turning left try not to check for too long for oncoming traffic because when when you're turning left and there is oncoming traffic right you can't do anything about it you, you, you still have to wait so better to focus on the positioning instead of the oncoming cars all right in this test route there will also be quite many roundabouts they're actually coming i think it's three in a row second exit speed recommended around 20. check 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 doesn't matter if there could come cyclists or not because they have their own bike lane you still need to check your verifications why it's because you're turning your steering wheel so anytime you turn the steering wheel you you need to check Try not to think, um, could, could there come any cyclists? There was no bike lane and stuff like that. Um, not recommended to think like that. You should always check um, if you're changing direction with your car. When you're passing a bus, which means a wide lane goes to a narrow lane, you need to check also when passing here. Even if there was no bus, you will still need to, they will expect you to, to check. All right, speed limit 50. 
and you can stay on the third gear it's a more convenience here in this case Yeah, so the roundabouts here um, by Copenhagen Airport is uh, it's quite tricky. As you can see the sign ahead, if there are only one red line, then it means you should keep right. It doesn't matter which exit. Exit one, two, three, four, whatever, keep right. But if there are two red lines, which we will show you soon, is coming up, then you must move to the correct lane according to the exit. Second exit in the roundabout, check first behind and then check crossing traffic. Don't check crossing tra traffic before positioning. No signal yet, but give your turn signal uh, before exiting. Let's check first, mirror, shoulder, signal. One more mirror, shoulder and exit. Sharp bend, no need to speed up too much right now. Just slowly, okay. The, the turn signal will turn off also automatic when your steering wheel goes back to the straight position. No need to stress about it by um, focusing on, on turning it off, this turn signal. It's, it's okay. Keep the distance to the stop your car so that you can see the wheels clearly um, ahead of that car. That's the distance we recommend you when you're stopping. People like to go very close to each other, not recommended. Now this road is also a bit stressful. It has like thousands of traffic lights and you will fear each light might change yellow and red. Okay, so the best thing is to speed up to the limit. The car ahead is also hesitating a bit. So then in that case, you can choose to overtake, but now we have another problem that the light is changing. When you're coming from this direction, from this airport site going because now you're going back to the test center they will always tell you to go left third exit in the next roundabout coming up so you could change lane already um, soon it's it's fine because if they're if your examiner is giving you the instructions a, a bit late for taking the third exit then it can be difficult to change lane i will change lane now also mostly because the car was going a bit too slow signal is not necessary when while changing lane if unless you are on the highway on the highway you must give signal this is the roundabout coming up which is a bit tricky as you can see there are two red lines and the one to the left is saying kestrup you must keep furthest left that's why we are staying on the left. So did you change lane like me uh, in an earlier stage? It's okay, as they will always tell you to exit on the third one. No traffic, look behind, no crossing traffic here. And do yourself a favor, don't speed up too much in, in these roundabouts, yeah? So uh, I'm keeping around 20. Um, it's fine, it feels really slow, but it's safe and it will help you to not make any mistake. As, as you can see here, there's a full solid line on your right side. So don't cross it, okay? Check behind. There'll be coming cars with high speed behind you. You can ignore it since there is a full solid line which is considered as a big fat wall. Wall, okay? So no one is legally allowed to cross it. You, you still have to check, but, but don't fear them coming with the high speed. It will, it will make your positioning uh, messed up. Just a tip. So you got told to go towards Castro. Try not to ask if it's to the left here because the signs were saying, at least one sign were saying a Castro is to the left. And then if you've seen our other videos, always position your car furthest to the right, even on a left turn if there are two lanes turning left. Lane merging, check behind. Okay, the whole drama. One time is enough. I was showing it twice. Just make sure that you got it. Yeah, so once again, we are now going back to the test center. This was 
the route. Let's go in position before slowing down. We are checking. Check, check, check. Behind, mirror, shoulder. Turn left. Speed up. Okay, now you are heading back. Many times it's the first five, 10 minutes of your test that you, you should try to show with no mistakes at all. It's a good sign for you because they know that after a few, like 10, 15 minutes, you guys can be, get a bit exhausted. So they do still accept that you're making some mistakes, but the first five, 10 minutes, very important that you can stay focused, follow all the rules, the signs. Yeah, just overall do a nice limousine kind of driving, right? You're, you're a driver that day for your test taxi driver the nice one not the one that likes to pass taxi green a smooth drive will will always be good I was a bit too quick I was supposed to show you when you're back put the car um, well the examiner will tell you to secure the car so bring the stick to the neutral check like this right and left and then some car will have the the handle here uh, this car has a digital parking brake just a button all right then you can lift your pedals and then you can uh, switch off the engine turn the key back i won't do it because if i do then our equipment here cameras will get too warm and then they will switch off all right, guys, um, that was the latest test route, which has been requested from our uh, previous student, Mr. Jay. Congratulations, Jay, for passing your driver's test. And thank you, Jay, to encourage us, encourage us to make this video so that you can also share your experience with other students. The message from Jay was, uh, please let the other uh, students uh, watch this route as every examiner might have a slightly different route so now you watch it you hopefully can help you to perform a better driving and more correct driving according to the examiners to pass this test yeah so um, let's keep in touch how do we keep in touch oh yeah there's something about some some buttons called that, don't press that one though, that, that's like failure. There are some buttons called, uh, uh, if you like the video, you can press this. If, if you would like to catch up again, then you press the other button. Just press them both. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.